a lot of the Deinonychus fossils have been found associated with fossils uh, from a herbivorous dinosaur called Tenontosaurus. Now, the Tenontosaurus grew to somewhere between 21 to 26 feet, about 6.5 to 8 meters in length. It would have weighed about 1 to 2 tons and um, would have eaten low-growing ferns and shrubs. It's because of the size of the Tenontosaurus, it was much larger than the Deinonychus, and some people have suggested that the Deinonychus acted cooperatively in packs to hunt these large herbivorous dinosaurs. Um, it could be that the Deinonychus uh, didn't actually hunt cooperatively, but they could have also mobbed a large uh, prey, such as the Thinotosaurus. It could be that lots of Deinonychus would attack a creature at once. Uh, there are some fossils of Deinonychus that have been found uh, where smaller specimens could have been damaged. So it could be that there was a feeding frenzy where the Deinonychus would attack the Thinotosaurus and then they could possibly attack the other Deinonychus at the same time and they could have fought and squabbled over the large prey. When the Deinonychus attacked, it probably leapt onto the prey like the Tontosaurus and you, then you would use its back claws on its um, back legs to hold onto the prey and once it then grasped it, it would probably inflict wounds with its teeth the, the teeth of the skull um, are sort of dagger-like, and there are 70 of them. So it would have used these 70 teeth there to inflict wounds on animals like the Tenontosaurus. And it could be that if several Deinonychus were attacking a large animal like the Tenontosaurus, that they could eventually kill it or eat parts of it in any case. Um, so there are some theories that the Deinonychus acted cooperatively in packs, but it could be that they would just mob a large animal and kill it. It could also be that the larger Tenontosaurus were too large for the um, Deinonychus and that the Deinonychus went for smaller juvenile Tenontosaurus.